let's create a custom data source against some objects. Here is a Visual Studio project. We've got a simple form, which will take the name and the point value associated with some objects and add them to a list. Here is our class diagram. As you can see, two public properties, name and points, on our class named pilot. So, how do we add custom reports? First, right click the project, add, um, and let's choose a new item. What you'll do is you'll select report. Give the report a name. We're just going to use report one. And you'll see this report body here and some data sources. Click add new data source, choose object, and select our pilot class. Click finish. You'll now see our pilot class here. Here's the report body. In the report body, we need to place a table. It'll automatically be the same width as the report. All you have to do is drag this name field into the repeating portion of the table. The name, the field name will automatically be placed in that column's header value. Drag the points into the second box. Notice that because it's a numerical value, it's automatically right aligned. You can also insert and delete extra columns. Let's tighten this up. Save the report, close it. Here's our form again. Now, here's a second button called report. Before we do that, we need to create a form on which to display the report. So add a new form, and let's call it form two. And on this form, we're going to place A report viewer. Go ahead and dock it, select the report. Notice that the report automatically places a binding source onto our form for us, and save. View the code for form 2, and we need to add a public property to access um, our data source so simply add public um, pilot array Okay, so we're just making this a, a public property just so we can get to it. Save that form, close, close, come back to our form one, and here we're going to double click on our report button. Here I'll just paste in some code to copy the pilots array into the new form. So you would run the application, type in some name, add some points, do it again, and now we'll run the report. Here's the report. You can see that both of the columns are there, and uh, you can do a lot of things with this report. You can have sub columns, charts, bar graphs. Uh, you can even have child reports and, and expressions too.